Uh, Samuel, please remind Saul that I anointed him king of Israel. And then, uh, tell him to wipe out the Amalekites. You got it! Listen up! The Lord sent me to anoint the king of Israel. And the Lord said, strike down the Amalekites with great vengeance and furious anger. Um, that's not exactly what God said. Shut up, Jeffrey. Let him talk. He's just being poetic. Capiche? God wants me to knock off the Amalekite gang. All the families? The Lord said, spare no one. Kill all the men. 100% dead. Kill the women. 77% dead. Kill the children. Permanently grounded. Kill the infants. Late, late term abortions. Kill the cattle. Utterly destroy them. Kill the sheep. Sheer carnage. Kill the camels. Smoke them if they got them. And kill the donkeys too. Kick their, uh, butts. And they will know my name is the law. When I lay my vengeance upon thee. Damn straight. Kill infants? Kill camels and donkeys? God, why? Jeffrey, we need to show people that we mean business. Oh yeah, we'll show those camels what for. God, you're supposed to be perfectly good, remember? Yeah, so? So, if you can still be called good after killing entire settlements of women, children, infants, and animals, then by what metric could we possibly measure evil? Jeffrey, being God, by definition, means that whatever I do can't be called evil. Says who? Says me. My, 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 isn't that convenient? What about when someone says that you commanded it secondhand, like what just happened here? Well, as long as I really said so, then fine. Don't you think that setting such a precedent is dangerous? Jeffrey, I'm pretty sure that killing in the name of God will never be a problem. <coughs> can, I, can, I, can I get a drink of your tasty beverage? <coughs> hey, kill that kid. God wants all those brats dead. Oh, hold on there. This is a good heifer. We're gonna keep this one alive to sacrifice to God. Capiche? <sighs> Samuel, I'm pretty sad that I have made Saul king. We need to find a new king. Really? But why? Because Saul just now disobeyed me. Oh, no. Thou mean he didn't kill the Amalekites? Thou know, that doesn't really surprise me. Killing little infants can be a pretty fucked up thing to do. No, 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 that's not it. He late, late term aborted the shit out of those little bastards. But, he kept several of the animals alive so that he could sacrifice them to me. Okay. Wait a minute. You're pissed off because instead of killing some of the animals right away, Saul is going to kill them later by sacrificing them to you? Who cares? I mean, the animals you order to be killed will be killed. Yeah, but he didn't obey me perfectly, like a robot. Remember when Saul foolishly ordered his men not to eat, but they did anyway? He would have been humiliated if he didn't punish them. Now I'm in that same position. Now I am grieved I made him king. I'm gonna make someone else king. But in that analogy, you're the one giving foolish orders. More importantly though, how could you possibly regret doing something when you already know exactly how things will happen before they happen? Well, uh, y you see, um... Yo, I'm back. I did just like God wanted and the Amalekites are sleeping with the fishes. Oh, really? Then what's with all these noisy ass animals? This is God's cot to be sacrificed, but we totally destroyed everything else. We slaughtered all those evil babies and brats and whatnot. Oh, I see. Thou pounced on all the plunder and did evil in the eyes of the Lord! So, killing infants is good, 
and not killing animals is evil. But without God, there's no moral compass. What's the matter with you? I'm gonna obey God. The animals are gonna get knocked off in the sacrifice, obviously. The Lord wants you to obey him like a perfect robot. Thou should have killed those animals straight away. Which dost thou think the Lord prefers? Thy barbecued animals? Or a perfectly obedient robot? Well, actually, God really does love him some barbecue, but yeah. People who cower to him like mindless automatons are pretty high on his list, too. Automatons? Nah, uh, actually, I sort of like the Decepticons. Sweet Jesus. Samuel, thou looketh like thine aren't having way too much fun here. I mean, am I here to amuse thee? Do I look like a clown to thee? Does the Lord look like a clown to thee? What? What does the Lord look like? What? What country art thou from? Uh, what? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak Hebrew in what? What? Hebrew, motherfucker! Dost thou speak it? Yeah! Then thou knowest what I'm saying. Thou didn't obey like a perfect robot. Okay, okay you got me. I, I screwed up. Uh, please, please, God, forgive me. Ha! Dost thou think the Lord will forgive thee just because thou earnestly ask? Huh, too bad Samuel never gets a chance to read the New Testament, eh, God? Do you ever shut up? Since thou rejected the Lord, the Lord rejects thee as King of Israel. Damn straight. The Lord does not lie or ever change his mind. Nope. I never change my mind. But, God, you made Saul king and then literally just now changed your mind, saying you're gonna find a new king. You even said, and I quote, I am grieved that I have made Saul king. Jeffrey, I can say the opposite of what I mean and have whatever I mean mismatch whatever I say whenever I say it and have it interpreted in whatever way I want no matter how inconsistent. Oh, really? How? Simple. I'm gone. What's all this about a new king? Samuel, head on down to Bethlehem. I'm gonna have you anoint a new king. Say what? If Saul finds out I'm gonna bet the hand to anoint a new king, he'll put a head out on my ass. Oh, good point. I tell you what, bring a cow with you and just tell him you're going to Bethlehem to sacrifice it. That'll be your cover. Holy. Shit. You mean God Almighty himself has to come up with some lame story to protect his prophet from a mere mortal? Jeffrey, look at him. He gets kinda scary when he loses his temper. So who we looking for? Right over there. That's him, tending to the sheep on the plain. David, the next king of Israel. Why him? Because we need someone who can survive all of Saul's attempts on his life. We need someone who can be a war hero. You got it. Listen up. I come in the name of the Lord. Yo, what can I do thee for? I have come to anoint thee into the service of the Lord, which will basically give you superpowers and shit. Uh, you, you know, I'm just out here, uh, taking care of the sheep, and, and I'll come here with this great honor, and I, and I really appreciate it. I know what I'm saying, uh, cause thou could have picked any one of my brothers, uh, uh, thou know, uh, Jorgensen, Coletta, Ortega, Danforth, Krakauer, Delmore, and, and they'd be good picks. Uh, uh, thou know, uh, they, they can bake bread real good, so it's like, uh, thou know, we, we, we say we're the baker team. <laughs> and when people, people always laugh at our jokes, you know, we always got a rough house in You sure about around. this motherfucker? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Ah! I said, God damn! What's wrong? Something bit me! Uh, oh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, uh, there's a lot of snakes on this plane. Lucy, I need your most evil spirit. Why? I just need it, okay? Sure, but you have to tell me why first. 
I want to use it to torment somebody, okay? God is going to torment someone with an evil spirit? Yeah, so? Won't it freak people out that you do such a thing? What they don't know won't hurt them. Won't people write about it? Like, in a Bible or something? Ha <laughs> ha! Like people are gonna read the Bible. Still, that's pretty fucked up, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me an evil spirit already. Okay. If you want something really evil, I've got just the thing. Oh, goody goody. Nine months ago, while I was exploring the deepest, darkest depths of hell, I caught the unholy spirits of BuzzFeed and InfoWars having wild monkey sex. Ew! What does that have to do with anything? BuzzFeed is very pregnant and is about to give birth to their unholy bastard love child. Ah! Dare I unleash this beast upon the world? It's quicker if thou have the hole in the desert already dug. Because if someone catches thee, uh, then you gotta dig another hole. Thou could be there all night. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Top 10 reasons Putin would make a great kisser. Somebody stop it! Someone stop it! How Beyonce inspired a generation and then planned 9 11. Oh, God! Maybe if we send for someone who can play heavenly harp music, we could drive the evil spirit away. False flag attacks are a construct of white male privilege. Fine! I'll try anything! Uh, find the best harp player in all the land! I know just the guy. Uh, David, son of Jesse of Bethlehem. Pepe the Frog has the perfect advocate for the LGBT community. Because the water turned the frogs gay. David, come quick! We need thee to play the harp for the king to drive away an evil spirit. Oh, Samuel, what are thou doing here? Thou know David? Uh, uh no. I'm just out here chilling on this plane. Wait a minute. Saul just so happens to need a harp player, and of all people he sends for David. My my my, what an amazing coincidence. Uh, yo, is this the place? Very not bad. <laughs> Man spreading is an act of terrorism. <laughs> What the hell was that? David, quick! Get in there! We need thee on the harp! Stat! <laughs> 57 reasons the harp is overrated <sighs> and will lead to the downfall of society. I must break you.
privilege. <laughs>